Hey guys, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I'm here to do a card share. This is a shabby chic slash kind of vintage card that I made for Armin, who is Happy Mail Queen and is celebrating a birthday. She asked folks to make a square card at least five and a half inches by five and a half inches or larger. And I decided to use one of those Michael's corrugated card bases. And what I did was I don't know if you can see the shimmer on there, but I absolutely love it. I mixed up some white acrylic paint along with this Folk Art Extreme Glitter Paint, and I think that shimmer is just wonderful. And I just dry brushed that on, and I made sure as I did it, I kind of swooshed toward the center of the card so that it, you wouldn't get like a hard edge on the parts that were visible. And I did the same on the front, but most of that gets covered up. But I do like how it softens the craft color of the corrugated card base. And then I have this beautiful designer paper. I have no idea what the brand is, but it's the same collection as this paper. So if you recognize it, it's from that collection. And most of the paper was this kind of cream color with some words written on it but it had this beautiful bird cage with the two sweet love birds, as well as these two butterflies. And so what I did was I decided I was gonna use the entire 12 by 12 designer paper to make this card and basically nothing else. And I really like how it turned out. So first I cut a five by five part of the designer paper distressed the edges with my Prima Distress tool, and then inked the edges with Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Vintage Photo with my blending tool, and I went around all the edges. I also cut a slightly smaller layering piece just to add some more dimension and texture and interest, and I did the same thing. I distressed the edges and inked them, and then I fussy cut out the image of the bird cage with my favorite fussy cutting scissors, these Fiskars spring-loaded scissors. And then I also fussy cut out these little swooshes, these green swooshes, so I could layer a couple pieces behind the image and one in front of the image. I also had an extra piece, so I put that on the inside. Um, and by the way, I did the same thing for this liner sheet. I distress the edges and ink them. And I also fussy cut around the tips of the butterfly wings so they could hang off and not be kind of cut off there like that. I think that's a really pretty little detail. And I can write my little message to Armin there. Then for further interest, I had some little scraps left of that 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I used this Prima doily die. I love this, I picked this up recently. And I had just enough for a little strip that I could tuck behind here and then another piece of paper that I could tuck behind there. And I inked the edges of that again with the antique photo. And then just to add a little twinkle, I have this DMC metallic thread that I could kind of bunch up and I have a couple of loops of that showing here and one here. And I think that just adds a nice little, I don't know, a little whimsy. And for the sentiment, I actually took apart this sticker, this dimensional sticker, it had that sentiment right here. And I pulled that off, it's from the My Mind's Eye collectible collection of stickers. And that is the sentiment right here and it says, happy days are here. And then just to add a little more texture, I decided to add some Flower Soft. And I think that that is so much fun. I put some glue, this my favorite art glitter glue with the fine tip nozzle. And I put that down between the bars of the bird cage. And then I was careful to put the Flower Soft so that it looks like the flowers are peeking through the bird cage and not just like a flat you know, floral area. And I hope, Armin, that you like it, and I hope you have a wonderful, happy birthday. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Bye.